Hey everyone, it's Carla from Run Again Rover, and today's video is going to teach you everything you need to expect about what your dog's bruising will be like after TPLO or any of the other CCL surgeries. I know what you want. You want to know exactly what to expect so you're not surprised or so that you don't miss something that might be abnormal. And you don't want the stress of wondering what's okay and what might not be. Let me assure you, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to expect. And you know what? It's going to make you feel less squeamish and less nervous about how this bruising looks. What I recommend is that you go on Google and just take a look at some pictures of bruising just to kind of get your mind ready and to see some different accounts of what the bruising is like. If you're in my Facebook group, then I'm sure you can just scroll through and you can go to the search this group function and click on the search box and type in the word bruising and you'll see lots of pictures of different bruises. You kind of want to know what it looks like so that it takes the nervousness out of the picture. All right, so when you go pick up your dog, you might be so surprised that there's hardly any bruising at all. You might think, oh my gosh, my dog's a rock star. Day two, day three, some redness starts to set in. It almost looks like a bruise, like when you bang your arm or your leg into something and you see that reddish color. That's the first color that appears. It's because there's blood underneath the surface of the skin. I'm always kind of surprised by the people who question the amount of bruising they see. Don't forget, if your dog had any of the bone cutting procedures, TTA, MMP, TPLO, CBLO, they cut bone. Inside the bone is blood. They had to move tissues out of the way. Everything got disturbed. They're cutting through skin, right? And so all of those things bleed. Don't be surprised by bruising. It is a normal, natural part of the healing process. As the days progress, you'll see that the redness starts to dissipate and look a little bit darker, maybe like a purplish color, a little bluish maybe. And as it heals further, you'll see that the bruise will look more greenish or yellowish. All that stuff is normal. Now here's one thing that you might not know of. When they use the same clippers over and over to clip dogs before surgery, the blades get dull. And what sometimes happens is that dogs get clipper burn. What that looks like is like your knee when you fall down and scrape it, or if you fell and you scraped your elbow and it looks like that road rash kind of look, that's what clipper burn looks like. It looks kind of angry and red and puffy. And so sometimes what you'll see is that you'll have some bruising and then on top of it, clipper burn. Now listen, before you do your own doctoring for this bruising or clipper burn, I want you to call the surgeon, vet tech, or veterinary nurse to ask if it's okay to put anything on this area. It's not okay to follow what other people say on Facebook or online. Check with the doctor first because every surgeon recommends something different. So there you have it. Now you know what to expect about bruising. You are going to be amazed at how quickly all this stuff heals. Now here's a pro tip. Each day I want you to use your camera to get a really good picture of your dog's leg. Make sure that you hold the camera up to the dog's leg and then what you'll do is you'll touch the camera, you'll just tap on your screen to fine tune the focus. There's no sense in taking blurry pictures. And then if you see anything that doesn't look right, I want you to send that picture to your dog's veterinary team. I'd love for you to be a channel VIP. And what does that mean? It means you're gonna help me to grow this channel to, to epic, epic proportions. proportions. How will you do that? Subscribe. Click that little bell icon so that every time I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. And then if you belong to Facebook CCL surgery groups, please share this link with others you know who are going through this. It's gonna help them take better care of their dog. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.